I'm Elaine Sims. I'm on the campus of St. Catharines College. Today we are in the Fine Arts Department here at St. Catharines. Uh, for the people that here that know St. Catharines, this is where the library used to be before we built a new library that is very visible across the way. Uh, this area uh, is below the big performing chapel that, that the Mid-Kentucky Arts at St. Catharines performs. It's on the ground level. It's a much larger space than what we have before. Um, I have with me Betty Brookfield, who is the is, who's the visual arts instructor here at St. Catharines, and Teresa Tedder, uh, chairman of music. Just teach the music department, the yes. Teach the music <coughs> department. Uh, we're here to show you the new space. I think it's pretty, pretty obvious that there's a lot going on. <laughs> uh, Betty, let's talk about this. Um, how, did, how did you acquire this? Well, uh, there were several entities across campus that were vying for this fabulous new space uh, that would be opened up because of our new library being built, and we sent in a proposal. There were, was a committee formed to look at these proposals and several interviews and questions asked, and we won. So <laughs> I think it's just awesome. It has given us a, a new bolt of energy uh, as you can see today the light is fabulous in this area for studio arts we divide it in different areas for drawing and painting design color theory our fine arts committee meets uh, here usually once a month and that is uh, in including people from the community and the college family as well and students so um, when you first come in there's a, a little lab in this area that we can have lectures and show videos or films or listen to music and then we have a, an area for students to greet our guests we have a lot of visitors that come through here the sisters bring their guests the uh, admissions department brings new families that are looking at the campus and then we just have friends of the fine arts that come and want to see what's going on there's always activity in here and then there's always music next door so it's enlivening okay. uh, this this building which will take a, a tour of this new space uh, this half is, is for what you do and then there's another half over here mm -hmm. and Teresa got to move out of the closet <laughs> oh, they do. downstairs <laughs> <laughs> you really were about in a closet. I was in a closet, and our beautiful piano was in one classroom. Our uh, other instruments were scattered all over campus, and so now we are centrally located. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Um, and I think I, I need to back up here because part of uh, learning about this department is also let's define what the fine arts are. They have always been a part of St. Catharines mm -hmm. since the beginning. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, with the academy and of course the college now but it seems like it's really beginning to grow it started back uh, really in some ways I think I, I associate it with when Mid Kentucky Arts at St. Catharines started mm -hmm. uh, I helped Susan Spalding with that committee early on and then we developed this chorus and uh, in the beginning, Teresa, how many were in the chorus? About 20, 25. Yeah. And yeah. I was there only as a face. I could not sing. Now there's... We're seeing uh, 80 at Christmas. Okay. Yes. So the fine arts at St. Catharines encompasses a lot. Let's, let, I want to give both of you an opportunity to talk about what well, all that includes. I have a good story about that, uh, uh, the importance and the history of fine arts on this uh, place. Uh, before we had this building, the new mother house, there was a, a much larger one across the river that unfortunately burned. And the first thing that was bought after that disaster was a harp. And that was how important that the arts have been traditionally and historically uh, in this area. So we are building on that and I'm very excited. The, the degree has only been in place for about f four or five four, years. Four, maybe five years. Yeah. And it's a, a three pro <coughs> degree with uh, studio arts, music, and theater. And we haven't had the opportunity to develop theater yet. I think that's going to be coming soon. We also have the other campus at Center Square in Lebanon where we have sculpture and ceramics so we have other 
places to create set designs if we should decide to have plays. And that, well, we do have plays over there with our drama club here. So it's a growing department and reaching out. Most every student that comes to St. Catherine will take an art class uh, or music. Or they music. have to have mm -hmm. some of each for their core studies, for their degree. Also, our um, music of the world, world music, world music, and then African art. There's different things that satisfy the world cultures in the core studies as well. Uh, when I was in high school, I was at St. Augustine's in Lebanon, but a lot of the, uh, my sister came over here for piano lessons. A lot of the people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. came here, uh, and of course then it was sisters, but it was uh, when you got to a certain level, and those teachers felt like you needed to be perfected, they oh, came here. Of course, yeah. it's a, like a finishing it's school. All, it's <laughs> all, it is. And well, I, and I've, al I've always associated St. Catherine's as a finishing mm -hmm. school in the arts, mm -hmm. uh, the, the arts. Mm -hmm. um, Teresa, you have students. Now, do you have students that elect to take piano? Do they start with the n number one book? The little <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did they that do. four times <laughs> <with> number one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have students that take what are called applied piano. This is one-on-one -on -one instruction just to play the piano. Uh, and they're at all levels. And that's an elective. That uh, they can do that. It's an elective. Any student campus-wide can it take that as an elective. Of course, it's required in the, in the music tract of, sure. of the degree. But I want to go back to just the space. Um, I know it became almost cliched several years ago with the Kevin Costner movie. Uh, field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come. Uh, but that's literally happened here. Once we moved into an official area that looks like a real fine arts department, there's a cello in one of my offices. A student came in and says, I played the cello in high school. Let's start a chamber ensemble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and before, when we were such a low visibility as a department, these things were not happening. There's an a cappella singing group that meets now on Wednesdays. Cool. So it's just like, it just <laughs> snowballs because there is a space designated for it. Okay. okay. Well, I'd like to take a tour of, of the building. Great. Great. And uh, we'll just, we'll start with on one side and then, and then we'll, but I, I hope that our audience understands that the fine arts does include all arts, mm -hmm. not just uh, painting and not just music, it, it, all the arts, mm -hmm. which uh, so beautifully is described, if you don't have arts in your life, there's just something that's missing. And it's something mm -hmm. that I think it's wonderful St. Catharines is bringing this to the forefront because it's not a priority. It can't, it's not a priority in a lot of the public in the schools in Kentucky right now only because there's not funding mm, for it. That's right. But mm -hmm. if you lose your arts, you, you lose so much mm -hmm. because it says so much about life. You're right. Beauty mm -hmm. and life. So let's take a look around. All right. Okay. Now we're going to have Betty give us a little tour of the new space here. Great. Welcome to the studio parts of the St. Catherine Fine Arts Department. And you'll see a lot of activity in this room, day and night. Students come in usually two or three hours before their scheduled class time even to work on their projects. And then they stay and work later at night as well. We've got drawing, painting, um, color theory, design. We had... Uh, Art, um, African art was in this class. Right now I've got a sophomore seminar that we are comparing the architecture of the Gothic and Romanesque period. So that is a upper level class that is an honors class that we're very happy to house here as well. You'll see that students are painting all the time. So you see work in a lot of different stages. And they, even though painting is not being offered right now, my art majors are continually working at their projects to create a portfolio. So we will begin with the seminar classes in the spring and then we'll really be on board with this. But how, how many of your students, excuse me, are, mm -hmm. I know this is an elective, but uh, when we first did this interview, we had a couple of basketball players. Mm -hmm. You, How many students do you usually have in a class and how many of these, you know, athletes, well, anybody on campus chooses to do art? Well, that's a good question. We have about 15 or 16 fine arts majors, but in my classes, I usually have 
25 to 28 students. Uh, most every student at St. Catherine takes an art or music elective. So they'll be in the classes to fulfill their core studies requirements. The funny thing is, or the great thing for me is, that I end up with a whole lot of art minors because they'll take a, a sketching or a painting or a drawing class or something that they discover that they have a talent that they right. hadn't really given time to and they enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So they end up taking more art classes and then end up with a minor which is only about 15 or 18 hours. Okay. Well I remember interviewing uh, two of the students and they didn't know they had and they could paint. <laughs> you remember who yeah, it was. Yeah. And both of them said that they would they would they would do some kind of painting for the rest of their life. That uh, was Terrence and Brandon, and yes. they, they are still on campus. They have graduated, but they're working as assistant coaches, and they are still here, and they still bring me students over. So they're yeah, still with great. our family. That's great. I know there's quite a few pieces here that you have done, and I don't know how much we want to expound on that, but there's also a lot here that have been done by the students. Um, Right now, you're, it seems to be concentrating on horses for an exhibit, but uh, let's let's. I, I kind of want to talk about uh, some of the the the, pe the piece that where they're doing. Um, there's a man and a lady. I assume that someone's maybe their their grandparents. Their grandparents. Uh -huh. That's Jennifer Chesser's uh, work. She is one of our fine arts majors. And she's a senior this year, so she's trying to get a lot of work done for her portfolio. And these are her grandparents. She did her parents' portraits last year, and cool. so the grandparents would like to be included on that. Now, what's the deal on Piggly, Wig uh, Piggly Wiggly? <laughs> That's part of our drawing class. The Piggly Wiggly bag was our um, model for that, and I brought that from, from Memphis. And it makes a, you'll see several Piggly Wiggly bags okay. around. Okay. That, there's a, that's a big class. There's about 28 yeah. students in here. So hopefully there's 28 Piggly Wiggly bags going okay. on in here too. Now uh, the Sisters of Charity of Nazareth. This is a uh, work, a piece that I've done for the new wing of Flage Hospital in Bardstown. And it's oh. sponsored by the Sisters of Charity. So they wanted a tree of life for their, uh, that wing to come uh, as you come into the conference room. And then uh, we have uh, Laura Turner's work. She's also one of our fine arts studio majors. And she is uh, um, very colorful and she abstracts her work. I'd say she's more expressionistic and just Mm -hmm. um, a, a wonderful artist. I think this is so interesting because the precision is amazing with these two pieces, oh, which yes. I don't even know what to call this. Oh, this is uh, uh, drawing compositions by one of our new students and art major is Jacob Sloan. He comes to us from Louisville. He's a soccer player. He comes to us already with a great deal of talent, and we're excited for him to be here and to show us what he can do here at St. Catherine. So he's going to be painting in the spring. He's done these two pieces since he's been no, here? No, no. He, he brought these with him. These are friends of his uh, portraits that he's created this composition, sort of a, uh, a dreamy composition that he is bringing his friends with him to the campus. I encourage them to bring their work before so that students can see them and get to know them through their work okay. before they prove themselves here. As we discussed earlier, we have a music department and the art department. We come through this store and we come into the Your Sweet Teresa. Yes. Which is wonderful space, wonderful acoustics in here. Mm. Wonderful acoustics. Uh, show us around. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, uh, of course, we have this, the pianos here. The so piano, which was a gift to the college from Nancy Rapier Cirillo's family. Uh, this is a gorgeous instrument. It was kind of stuck in an upstairs classroom. Uh, to have it at central location here in the music department is an absolutely extraordinary thing. Um, both my library and the music library is housed here. Uh, a few weeks ago, we received an extraordinary gift from uh, a priest in New Haven, Paul Borka. Um, the executor of his estate wanted us to have his music collection, which included 16,000 CD recordings, 500 musical scores, and about 1,000 volumes of music books. So the music books went to the main library. 
The CDs are housed here, as well as the instrumental and orchestral and piano scores. So it was an extraordinary, extraordinary gift for us. He must have slept with a headset on. Well, I think what they told us was he kept a CD playing during all waking hours, and it took three and a half years to go through all of his collection. Gosh, I and mean, it, it's amazing. It's behind us. It's um, we'll back see there. That it's also it's back over there. here in the lab, our lab, shared lab okay. with the visual arts. They're everywhere. Now, I notice we have, we have tables and chairs here, so tell me what you teach in here. I teach music appreciation. This semester I'm teaching music appreciation, world music, the thriving artist, introduction to the fine arts, I think that's, and applied piano, which are individual piano lessons that students can take for college credit. And again, how many majors do you have in this department? I have four music majors and no minors at the time, but so much of the course offerings that we give here are fulfill requirements throughout college-wide. Okay, so every student is, is obliged to take one of the... Part. Every student has to have a humanities, which is either going to be fine arts, music, or introduction to art. Um, we have a component of our core curriculum that's called Global Perspectives. I offer world music, which fulfills that requirement because we talk about music from indigenous cultures all over the world. So we have several dozens, if not over a hundred. I think this semester we have 150 students that matriculate between the two departments. Wow, wow. This is amazing. It is amazing. Teresa is also the director of Mid-Kentucky Arts at St. Catherine's Chorus, which has been in operation now. I would. 10, 12 years? Uh, I think it's more like 14. 14 years. Yes. It started early on. Uh, we talked about that earlier. Uh, this year, the we're right here, the coldest day of the season, which is October the, what is today? Uh, but we're getting ready for the Christmas season. We so are. And, and you want to tell us about the programs that are coming up this year well. and, and the beginning of next year? Uh, our Christmas performances will be December 6, 7, 8 and 15. December 6 and 7 we are at St. Joseph in Bardstown. It's a Friday and a Saturday. That's Friday and Saturday. Sunday afternoon the 8th we are here at St. Catherine Hall. Uh, Sunday afternoon the 15th of December we are at St. Augustine in Lebanon. Okay. We always make sure that we sing at a place in the Tri-County area. Yeah. Um, so on Sunday I think a lot of people, do you usually have a performance on Sunday night? Here, we have sometimes. done sometimes, but we felt like with the two performances in Bardstown that it was too hard for the chorus to sure. sing twice Absolutely. in one day. Absolutely. <laughs> by, the the course, you, you, by the end of the second chorus, by the end of the second concert, there was a fatigue factor. Okay. So we're trying to spread that out over more days to where we're not so intense just on one okay. day. So Friday night, of course, Friday will be at the evening, of course. Friday is, Saturday is also in the evening. Friday and Saturday, 7.30. Okay. And then Sunday here at 3. At 3. And then the following Sunday at 3 o'clock at St. Augustine's. St. Augustine's, yes. Okay. Okay. And for the people that are local, uh, that's the weekend that they have the Christmas around town. So it's wonderful to co incorporate that with that. Yes. It's part, uh, okay. I think that Nail Hayden, downtown Renaissance, includes this as part of the activities. Part of their, part of their activities. Yeah. Well, this is very exciting. Uh, there's always been a grand piano on this campus uh, in the valley and, and up here. And now it's really in the music department. It is. So it's, it's wonderful. Like, yes. It's wonderful. It's, it's so interesting going from that part of the, on that side of the door to this side because this is so subdued and that's very lively and, and you know, with lots of color. But this certainly is, is conducive for what you do. Absolutely. Yeah. So how long have you been here at St. Catharines now? Since 2000. 2000. Yes. We're all getting it. 13 years. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know you taught my mother in Lebanon, and everybody had to lose you from where you, before you, before <laughs> well, we, we just, they, we were able to grab you up. Right. We but now they come those, here. That's right. But now we they just come brought here. brought them with us. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Sure. Anything else you want to include? Well, um, behind the bookcases is a work area. Uh, we have an assistant, an intern that works in the fine arts department. We house the Mid-Kentucky Music Library there. There are two offices. One is a practice room and a workspace for me. I have a computer and electronic keyboard, digital piano. This is where I do my composition and production of composition. 
and then just a regular office. So it's an extraordinary space. Well, Teresa does wears many hats, and she also com composes music and you know performs it, performs music, and yeah. it's just it could I could go on and on and on. Where you're such a treasure for this place. Thank you. We are glad. Thank you. You chose us, <laughs> and we chose you. I say us, St. Catharines. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.